The topic of today's webinar is automatic finishing for the DNA appliance. Uh, we chose this topic because um, people have asked how do we uh, finalize the fine tuning of cages at the end. So we thought we'll, we'll start with this as our test uh, webinar. So if you're using the DNA appliance, you've got different ways to finish a particular case. And the first option is to finish the case with the DNA appliance itself, and people have done that successfully, particularly in uh, younger patients, in children. Um, in older patients, the second option is to use uh, reconstruction or restorative procedures, um, particularly if you want to do implants and the bridges or veneers, that kind of thing. A third option is to use something like Invisalign or the other clear tray systems, and we know that several people who are Invisalign uh, providers like to finish their cases. They start them with the DNA appliance and they finish them with Invisalign. And today we're going to be looking at uh, how to use fixed orthotic appliances for that final detailing, that final kind of um, occlusal work that we would like to do um, as we go along. So here is um, a, an example. This is an early case, uh, a pretreatment subject. And the um, important thing is to um, get the diagnosis, as, as you know, get to as close as we, as we can. We see that this patient here is showing some antigonial notching. Uh, we suspect that the mid face is underdeveloped and retronaphic. Um, this patient's been going to the dentist for a while. You can see the root canal therapy that she's had done and molars have been uh, extracted. If we look at her nasal airway, we start seeing some obstruction there. Look at her cranial base, it's a relatively young patient. And we look at her TMJ tomographs, we find this little bit of beaking and retropositioning. So what it's leading us up to is that this patient probably has these jaws which are underdeveloped. We see the molars which are buckly displaced. And so we'd like to maybe go ahead and redevelop this patient's uh, mid-facial structures. What we're seeing is developmental compensation. We'd like to undertake some mid-facial redevelopment to get this patient fit and healthy. And uh, one of the things we can easily do is to measure the intermolar width. And if that's narrow, then we suspect that we can do some further development. We can confirm that by looking at the position of the second molars. You can see there's a big step between the first and second molars there. And to confirm that this patient needs midfacial redevelopment, we look at the lower arch, and what we see is this asymmetry. We see asymmetry of the bone, and we see asymmetry of the teeth. So those features tell us that this is a patient could do with some form of redevelopment. So this patient started off with an upper DNA appliance, and this is an intermediate photo after a few months showing that uh, the appliance is starting to redevelop that, mid that midface. We see. Um, these teeth starting to move, a little bit of spacing, which shows the bone volume is starting to increase. And in the lower arch, um, using the DNA, you can see a slight increase in symmetry. The teeth are starting to get repositioned here. And in this case, went to fix the fine therapy for that final um, finishing phase. So here you see the full brackets are all in place there. And so we can see that starting from this original position, how this patient's arch has been redeveloped, both from a bony point of view, a dental point of view, and also from a pneumopedic point of view, which means that the underlying airway is being also addressed. Uh, we also see in this particular case how the lower arch has become more symmetrical, the teeth have become more well aligned. And so uh, these are the kind of uh, finishing cases that we'd like to do. And we look at the final outcome here, the teeth are looking very nicely lined up. The buckle segments look very good. And this is a happier patient because one of her original uh, complaints was that she had morning headaches. And those morning headaches have been resolved. And um, she has an enhanced level of craniofacial homeostasis. Um, if you want more details in terms of you know how, how to uh, use brackets as uh, a way of um, finishing cases, then we can read uh, chapter 7 of the book here and uh, this goes into some detail in terms of using an orthodontic uh, method of finishing cases after doing uh, a DNA appliance. 